The future of air combat isn't just about flying fast and avoiding radar. While most countries are still flexing their 5th gen stealth fighters, the real battle is for 6th gen supremacy. The US is ahead, China is catching up, and Europe? Well, they're still sketching out designs. So, who's really leading the charge? Let's break it down. Fifth generation fighters are so advanced and so expensive that only three nations have actually designed and inducted them into active service the United States, Russia, and China. Some countries like India, South Korea, and Turkey are working on their own fifth gen jets. Others, including Japan, the UK, and France, decided to skip the fifth generation entirely and jump straight to sixth gen, kind of like skipping leg day at the gym. But what makes sixth gen jets so special? Which country is building the deadliest sixth gen fighter jet? Will we ever see these aircraft go head to head in the skies? And more importantly, who's leading the race to dominate the skies? Stick around because this is the future of air combat. Before we start handing out trophies, let's talk about what actually makes a jet sixth gen. One of the biggest drawbacks of fifth gen jets, stealth design. It forces them to carry weapons internally, making them harder to detect, but also limiting their firepower. So while 5th gen jets are sneaky, they can also run out of missiles faster than a gamer runs out of snacks during an all-night session. 6th gen jets fix that problem and then take things to a whole new level. AI co-pilots. Think of it as having Siri or Alexa in the cockpit, but instead of playing your favorite song, it helps pilots make split-second combat decisions. Loyal wingman drones. Why fight alone when you can roll deep with an army of autonomous wingmen? These drones can carry extra weapons, gather intel, jam enemy radars, and even act as decoys. It's like having a squad of airborne bodyguards. Adaptive cycle engines. Think more power, better fuel efficiency, and higher speeds. These engines can adjust their airflow on the fly, giving pilots more range, endurance, and raw speed. More time in the fight, less time at the fuel pump. Network-centric warfare. These jets won't just communicate with each other. They'll link up with satellites, ground forces, and naval fleets. Think of an airborne war room. And of course, hypersonic speeds and next-level stealth are part of the package. For decades, the U.S. has owned the skies. And when it comes to 6th gen, they're still ahead. NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance. The U.S. Air Force's replacement for the F-22 Raptor, FAXX, the U.S. Navy's next-gen carrier-based fighter. Both jets come with twin engines and tailless design for better stealth, and they're absolute heavyweights, weighing in at 50 tons. That's more than an F-22, F-35, or F-A-18. If fighter jets had a weight class, these would be in the super heavyweight division. NGAD already took its first flight back in 2020. That's right. While some countries are still arguing over blueprints, the U.S. is already in the air. Oh, and the cost? A staggering $28.5 billion over five years, or in relatable terms, enough money to buy every person on Earth a PlayStation 5. Twice. China isn't just catching up. They're coming in hot. Beijing is working on two major jets, Chengdu J-36, a tailless Tri-J stealth fighter, because apparently three engines are better than two. Shenyang J-50, a twin-engine fighter with a cranked arrow-wing design for agility. This is expected to be China's premier air superiority fighter. Both jets took their first flights in December 2024. Yeah, they're not messing around. Instead of racing solo, the UK, Japan, and Italy have teamed up for the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP. Because hey, building a next-gen fighter is expensive. GCAP will replace the Eurofighter Typhoon and Japan's F-2, bringing stealth tech, AI, and advanced networking to the table. Meanwhile, France, Germany, and Spain are working on their own project, the Future Combat Air System, FKAS which will also have a naval variant. 
Unlike U.S. and Chinese designs, it will have a vertical tail, giving it a familiar fighter jet look while maintaining stealth. China and the U.S. are gearing up to induct their sixth-gen jets by 2030, while Europe? Well, they're planning their first test flight in 2030, and they're hoping to induct them by 2040. While everyone else is focused on sixth-gen fighters, Russia decided to go full James Bond villain and build the MiG-41, the world's first hypersonic interceptor. This thing is designed to hit Mach 4, hunt down hypersonic missiles, and even target satellites. Sounds terrifying, right? Well, there's just one small issue. Russia's economy is hanging on by a thread. Between conflicts, sanctions, and financial struggles, the MiG-41 might end up as just a really cool concept drawing. If it ever happens, expect it, someday. So, who's winning? Right now, the US is still in the lead. NGAD is already flying, China is gaining ground fast, Europe? Still planning? And Russia? Well, they're rolling the dice on hypersonic tech. That's it for today. See you in the next video.